let's say you're building a house and as part of you doing this construction project, you are delayed in accessing the site where you're going to build this house or the material is being delivered late, you issue a notice. Or the material that has been delivered is defective, you issue a notice, right? Or you can foresee that the material is going to be late, you issue a notice. If you can see that there's a strike coming or there are challenges for the subcontractor for your construction project or anything that will affect the labor of, of in, your, in your project, you issue an early warning notice. You don't step back and wait for it to actually happen. You issue the notice proactively so that you allow the employer to look or come up with suggestions, right? Now, in your notice, what you, what you need to be clear on, it's three things. The first one, you need to be clear what is the issue? What is the risk, right? Once you are clear in your notice on what is the risk, you then need to be clear on as to what will it impact? So the, you're building this house, the material is late. So your notice will say, delay in delivery of the cement, right? But now when the cement is late, what does it affect, right? Then you indicate in your notice to say, delay in delivery of the cement, which will result in a three days uh, uh, delay on the completion date, right? So be clear on what the risk is, but be clear on what is it affecting. And then if you have a suggestion or you have a solution, you will also include your, <clears throat> your solution in the early warning notice. So here's the risk. This is what it will affect. And I suggest we do one, two, three right and then an early warning is called in your notice you can also include to say i suggest we meet on such and such a date to uh, um, find a possible solution right which is called the risk reduction meeting now the risk meeting like i said remember the notice is issued by either the employer or the contractor right? The project manager or the contractor. Now, in the risk meeting, both parties must be in attendance. A risk meeting is the project manager, the contractor, and whichever other stakeholders that you think are necessary to find a quick solution to the current problem. If, if we're talking about the cement that is going to be late, and your cement is supplied by supplier X, you can invite supplier X into the meeting. So it can be the project manager, it can be the contractor. Supplier X can also be within the same risk reduction meeting. Why? Because remember the whole intent of the meeting is to find a solution as quickly as possible without any more of the back and forth, right? So supplier X also comes into the meeting. Everyone makes suggestions. So in the risk meeting, this is not where we have blames to say you were supposed to and you and you know. In the risk meeting, it's where our intention is to find the best solution. So the contractor will say, I think for us to get the cement, one, two, three must happen. Uh, um, project manager also makes their suggestions. Supplier X is also in the meeting and says, no, I think the best solution is this, right? So everyone then brainstorms and comes to the most suitable outcome to say, this is how we are going to deal with this risk. And then once the solution has been agreed by those that are in the meeting, remember you're going to send minutes of those of that risk 
meeting and remember you're going to update your risk register to include this risk as part of your risk register right but also you're going to indicate who is going to do what what is the project manager gonna do what is the contractor going to do if for example supplier x was also in the meeting what is he going to do or she right and then you write what is the solution but who is the who is action <laughs> to do what but you don't only action you then say by when will this be completed because this is the risk meeting now you need to say when are we getting feedback right you put your dates then you can be able to track and follow up if you need to have another risk meeting to close off whatever that materializes subsequent to this one. But when you leave a risk meeting, there needs to be direction as to what is going to be done to either mitigate the risk altogether or to reduce the impact on your construction project, right? Under your NEC, you will find it under clause 16. It's called the early warning notice, right? It's called early warning because you need to issue a notice for risks that you foresee. It's either a risk that will affect the cost, it's either a risk that will affect completion or affect quality, 